Queen Elizabeth just carried out a secret mission amid Prince Harry and Meghan Markle exit drama. Queen Elizabeth is doing everything in her power to move the monarchy forward following Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's exit. To that end, Her Majesty recently undertook a secret mission to one of the UK's top security agencies, MI5. The visit comes shortly after Buckingham Palace confirmed that Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, will be leaving the royal family on March 31st. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle confirmed their exit. Harry and Markle's plan to step away from the royal spotlight has undergone quite a few changes over the past few months. In their initial plan, the two wanted to take on a more limited role in the monarchy while continuing their work with their charitable foundation, Sussex Royal. After weeks of deliberation, however, Queen Elizabeth revealed that the couple will not be allowed to use their HRH titles, which means that they won't be working with Sussex Royal any longer. The two are technically keeping their royal titles, though they are prohibited from using them in public settings. Harry and Markle are also fully stepping down as active members of the royal family and will be financially independent of Queen Elizabeth and the Crown after March 31. This status, however, will be reviewed after a 12-month period and appropriate changes will be made. How does Queen Elizabeth feel about Megxit? Harry and Markle's decision to leave the monarchy came as a huge surprise to Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles who were both reportedly blindsided by the announcement. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their decision at the beginning of January and allegedly gave little notice to other royals. With everyone scrambling to pick up the pieces, an inside source claims that Queen Elizabeth is ready to be done with the drama and move forward. She has got to the point where she doesn't want to think about it anymore, the source revealed. She just wants it over and done with. Although she clearly doesn't want to talk about it, Queen Elizabeth has been very supportive of Harry and Markle in public. But she also believes that Megxit has been very damaging to the monarchy and cannot wait until it is no longer making headlines. One way the royals can begin to move forward is by continuing their duties which is why Her Majesty's most recent royal engagement was so important. Queen Elizabeth carries out a secret mission. This week, Queen Elizabeth took part in an unscheduled stop at the headquarters of MI5 in London. According to Hello magazine, Her Majesty wore a purple coat and a dress for the outing and met with MI5 director Andrew Parker. Parker gave Queen Elizabeth a tour of the museum at MI5 before they mingled with other staff members. She reportedly took particular interest in the collection linked to double agents in World War II, many of whom helped defeat the Nazis. At one point during her stay, Queen Elizabeth spoke to the staff at MI5 and thanked all of them for their tireless work watching over the country. I would like to take my visit here today as an opportunity to thank you all for the tireless work you do to keep our country safe. I am always struck by the remarkable resolve with which you carry out your vital role," she stated. Queen Elizabeth added that she is always impressed whenever she visits MI5. The trip, meanwhile, comes a year after Prince William spent some time at MI5, GCHQ, and MI6 in order to better understand their role in protecting the nation. What's next for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? As far as Harry and Markle are concerned, the two are currently living in Canada and are enjoying their time away from the royal spotlight. With a month to wait until their exit becomes official, the Sussexes are due back to the UK for a final round of public engagements at Queen Elizabeth's request. Harry and Markle will appear in public several times at the beginning of March. One of their last events as senior members of the royal family will be the Commonwealth Day service, which will likely feature Prince William and Kate Middleton as well. Once their departure is official, Harry and Markle are expected to return to Canada as they plan their next move. Throughout the year, the two are planning on establishing a home base in North America and launching a new charitable foundation. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not revealed any details about their upcoming endeavors. There has been a lot of talk about them moving to Los Angeles or New York City, though nothing is set in stone at the moment. Queen Elizabeth has made minimal comments regarding the Sussex's exit, but she has expressed her sadness that they no longer want to be working members of the royal family. Princess Diana became more famous after exiting the royal family, 
but will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? We're only beginning to understand what a post-royal life will look like for Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. From rumors of a Malibu mansion to a laid-back Duke of Sussex insisting that everyone simply call him Harry, without the prince, it's looking like a different world on the horizon. The major question on everyone's minds, besides how annoyed Queen Elizabeth really is with this pair, is just how much we'll see of them in the future. Will Harry and Meghan fade into obscurity, or will they become more famous under completely different circumstances? No one knows for sure. But if Princess Diana's fate taught us anything, it's that the royal family isn't the only path to fame. Princess Diana went from obscurity to the most famous woman in the world. By the time 20-year-old Diana Spencer walked down the island became the Princess of Wales, everyone knew her name and wanted to find out more. The royal wedding was the event of the decade, with more than 17 million households tuning in to watch. People couldn't get enough of the stunning young bride who made everyone's fairy tale dreams come true by becoming a real-life princess. However, the dream Diana was living turned into a nightmare in short order. She and Prince Charles barely knew each other when they wed. Their personalities were incompatible, and what's worse, Charles was secretly in love with another woman the whole time. He rekindled his affair with Camilla Parker Bowles while he was still married. Charles and Diana separated, effectively ending Diana's association with the firm. However, the paparazzi didn't stop hounding the Princess of Wales just because she and Charles split. Fans were more fascinated than ever to see what she was up to after leaving. Princess Diana helped inspire Prince Harry's royal exit. Critics love to blame Meghan Markle for stealing Harry away from his loving family. But even before she came along, the Duke of Sussex had a fraught relationship with fame and media intrusion. He never loved the attention of photographers and placed blame on them for his mother's tragic death. And this attention all came on the heels of Princess Diana forging her own new path separate from the royal family. Just before the accident, Diana was dating a billionaire who was allegedly about to propose to her. The press became obsessed with snapping photos of them which culminated in a high-speed Paris car chase that caused her death. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle aren't going anywhere. There's a good chance Harry and Meghan don't want people to forget about them, now that they've been cut off financially from the royal family, they'll need their solid name recognition to make money to live on. But even if they did want to hide away from prying eyes, it doesn't seem possible. Fans are even more curious about this couple now that they're technically retired royals. If Princess Diana had lived, she'd most likely still be an endless source of fascination for royal fans because of who she was as a person. The same holds true for Harry and Meghan.